So what is a spot fire? We all look at data in different ways. Most likely we will see something unexpected and naturally we will want to learn more about it. So typical spot fire is analytics specifically designed to answer those questions as fast as possible. Spotfire is an analytics platform that can be used across organizations. It is a very simple way to access your data, visualize it, create reports on it, and answer questions on the fly about your data without being an IT savvy. It is a software that will turn your data into insights fast and easy. Bring data into Spotfire is as simple as file a data table. We have an amazing collection of connectors. We can bring data from all your structural databases, SQLs, oracles, and we can also bring data from your big data architecture. At the same time, if you have files like Excel, text, or Access that you want to evaluate in Spotfire, just select it from your regular disk or path and bring it into Spotfire for a basic analysis. As you can notice, the first thing that Spotfire is going to do is grouping all those columns that you just bring based on the type of data that you have on those tables. So in this specific case, everything numerical is grouped, everything categorical is grouped, and so on. At the same time, Spotfire is creating this filter for you, so if you need to focus on a specific production date, or if you need to focus on a specific category, you can do so using the filter panel. Now, if you need to do any data changes or transformations and so on, it's very easy to use the option that the data panel is giving you, where you can change the type of data, evaluate the overview of your column, and see if you need to do any changes like replacing empty values or splitting the column for a specific um, name and so on. Now, Spotfire is going to allow you to work as many pages as you need to in the report and you can also add the recommendation engine to recommend a visualization based on a selection of a column or multiple columns that you do in this data panel. So in this specific example, Spotfire is recognizing that latitude and longitude are geographical information and is suggesting a map chart to start with as a visualization. In this example, we have oil and gas data and all of these points are representing wells. So for this specific example, we want to see which operators we have involved on these specific wells. To do so, we select that column from my data panel and do something as simple as drag and drop on my color panel here to see those operators being represented by different colors on the map. If you select a specific operator, you will see how that operator is being represented by the wells. Now, you can add as many visualizations as you want to in one page. Of course, keep in mind that you will like to arrange these and move things around so it's easy to read and makes sense from the analytical point of view. It is also very easy to access the property control for any of the visualizations that you are bringing into the Spotfire page. So in this specific case, for example, I want to change my x-axis and make it a production date year, so I will understand a little more of the history of this production for these wells. So on my x-axis I have year, and on my y-axis I want quantity of wells, and I want total of gas produced and total of water produced. Every single visualization is going to have a menu that is called properties, where you'll be able to change any extra details that you want within that visualization. In this specific case, I want the quantities to stay on the left axis and the production to stay on the right axis. At the same time, I want to keep quantities as bars and production as trends so it's easier to see. Changing colors and make it nice and appealing is very easy. Just uh, select the category you want to change and select the color that you want to use. So we just created a first uh, dashboard. 
In a matter of minutes, keep in mind that Spotify is going to allow you to edit the custom thing. So that means that you can change the way this looks like and you can select your own fonts, type of fonts, colors and so on. So you can have very easily a dashboard that looks like this where you have some basic KPIs in your production dashboard. You can actually have a dynamic dashboard that is adjusting based on my selection in the filters, on the sliders, and so on. In this specific case, I am focusing on a specific time window for the production, and I am displaying just that information that belongs to that time window. So you have a dynamic dashboard that is connected to the central data sources. Every time that that data in the, in the central data sources is changing, you can actually see how that is being reflected in your dashboard. In this specific example, we also have an extra layer on the map that is giving us the distribution of gas and water production for the selected wells. We can handle multiple layers on the map. Geographically, we have a lot of options. And we can also share these dashboards in many ways, including the static ways as uh, PowerPoints or PDFs. But also we can share this in a dynamic way where we can also send a URL to somebody and have that person to look at a Spotfire dashboard without even knowing that it's a Spotfire. In this specific case, I am showing a pipeline example where we have a shape file loaded in the map that is showing the different pipes around and whoever receives this URL is going to be able to walk through the different pages that I decide that were going to be part of this report. Now, within Spotfire, we have multiple visualizations that are going to allow you to create dashboards that can look like this, for example, when you have a 3D visualization that is going to allow you to see the actual well path. And you can also add extra information that is coming from multiple data sources, including GNG sources. So in oil and gas, it's very common to have information that comes from a specific data sources like Kingdom or Petra or Geoframe and so on. And you can end up with a dashboard that has information about production, well header, or things like that, and also have something a lot more technical that has, for example, logs information about that well. So it's very easy to end with a dashboard that is physically nice looking, well, it has the KPIs and good uh, colors and so on, but at the same time that allows the user to just click around and show what you want to show in the dashboard including information that is coming from very technical sources like GNG. Now, as we mentioned at the beginning, Spotfire is an analytics platform that is going to allow you to move from the very basic visual analytics to the more advanced analytics in a very easy way because Spotfire has embedded tools that are extremely practical when you are more advanced in a statistics way. So if you need to find a model for data relationships, if you need to identify a pattern, if you need to create a multivariable model and so on, Spotfire is going to allow you to do so in a natural way with all of these embedded tools. At the same time, if you are a more advanced user, you can interact with Spotfire and multiple programming languages because we can actually read and understand those syntaxes. One of the most common ones that are very used in oil and gas is R and what we do is use our own runtime for R that is called TER. So in a specific example you can move from a dashboard that is going to allow you to move from basic analytics when you can identify for example downhole failures and have a simple Pareto that is showing you where the failures are coming from and you can move all the way to a more advanced dashboard that is going to allow you to do proper maintainal, maintenance interval with a what-if scenario where you can actually work with your own numbers and see how much is this going to cost you and when do you have to replace that specific equipment 
running with a tear script behind the scenes that is going to support a way more advanced statistic process. So a spot fire goes from the very basic uh, pillar of the analytics when you have something like the discovery and the dashboard creation but it's going to support you all the way to the very advanced analytics when you can have very robust predictive and prescriptive models that are going to be natural out of the box or using any of the extra programming languages that we can interact with.